Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bainbridge Wells bringing you another episode in my continuing film series, Science on the Move. I am speaking to you now from the shoreline of Tiny Murrow Atoll, some 800 miles due west of the coast of Chile, where for years there have been persistent stories of a sea monster which is supposed to inhabit these waters. Oh yes, this little device I have in my hands is an important part of our story. We might call it sea monster bait. Actually, it is an electronic device designed to emit ultrasonic sounds, which should have a most disturbing effect on our denizen of the deep, if in fact such a creature actually exists. At any rate, I shall continue to operate this lure as a part of my little experiment in hopes that it may produce some sort of tangible result that I... sailing order until I give you the word. Why? Something up? No, I don't know. We've got a civilian aboard in conference with the Admiral. Did you ever hear of Bainbridge Wells? Bainbridge Wells a scientist, sure. Mm-hmm. One with a TV show. I'd like to watch him whenever I can. Now, who doesn't? Well, what's he doing aboard? Trying to talk the Admiral into a mission, I'd imagine. A mission with Bainbridge Wells? Wouldn't that be something? Not much chance of that ship. The Admiral isn't exactly a Bainbridge Wells fan. Here. Wells, I don't like anything you stand for. <laughs> you can't be much plainer than that, Admiral, but I expected as much. In which case, this visit has wasted your time and mine. Good day, sir. Now, just a minute, Admiral. I expected resistance, but not dismissal. I'm not fond of being treated like a schoolboy. You know my attitude toward people who exploit science for their own selfish ends, particularly people with as few real qualifications as you have. Now, why did you insist on coming here and putting us both in this embarrassing position? Because I need your submarine, its instrumentation, scientific capabilities. I must have it. To capture that mythical sea monster of yours? No. For a purpose I think even you'll grant is a worthy one. I want to prove the existence of an entirely new and unsuspected biological species. Now, isn't that worth the cost and effort of an expedition? Yes, yes. Well worth it. If I could see any possibility at all of success. But since I don't, Mr. Wells, I must respectfully decline. I'll have you escorted ashore. At the height of the attack, I somehow managed to take a single picture. Do you have a negative with this? As a matter of fact, I do. Why? I'd like to study it. A negative is almost impossible to fake. And if you find it legitimate? We can be ready to sail tomorrow morning.
make all preparations to get underway at once. It's your course. Muro Atto. Looks like Bainbridge Wells did a pretty good job of selling. I'll tell you something, Chip. I would have been a month's pay against him. He must be onto something really big. Okay, set up your special C detail. Aye, aye, sir. Now, hear this. Special C detail will lay up topside. Make all preparations to get underway. Aye, sir. Hi, Chief. Hi, Patterson. Hey, Patterson. Yeah, what's up, Chief? Where you going? The photo lab. I got the first watch. Don't you know we're getting underway? You're supposed to be ashore on emergency leave. Oh, that. Well, I went to Mr. Moore and I canceled it. You just cancel it, huh? I break my back getting you this leave and then you just turn around and cancel it. Just like that, huh? Sorry about that, Chief. But I appreciate your efforts. I'll see you around. Nobody tells me anything. I see it, but I don't believe it. Does this thing actually exist? I assure you it does, Captain. At least that's what we're trying to establish. How do you think you're going to find it? The same way I found it originally. Mr. Wells has contrived this device as a lure. It uh, produces an ultrasonic signal which he claims will attract the beast. It worked all too well the first time I used it. This time, we'll be ready for it when it attacks. I've drawn up a list of preparations. Lee, let them up and have everything ready by the time we reach the lagoon. Come in. Oh, excuse me, sir. You sent for me? Uh, yes, Patterson. I'd like to have an eight by ten blow up of this. Aye, sir. Now, wait a minute, Patterson. This picture's the only tangible evidence you have. No, no. I've seen the negative. The picture and what I saw with my own eyes. I can still see it. The way it came charging from the lagoon, heading straight for my crew. I warned them to stand still, but it didn't help. The cameraman panicked. The rest followed suit. And the monster attacked and killed them. Now, what about the film and the movie camera? Did it show anything? The camera was smashed in the attack. The film has disappeared. By now, it's probably at the bottom of the lagoon. Carry on, Patterson. Aye, sir. It's too bad about the film. It might have told us something about the attack. Perhaps. We'll never know, of course. It's gone now. Well, we'll find our own proof once we get to the lagoon. I'll work on the list right now. How much of this stuff do we load, Chief? 40,000 yards. 40,000? You could put an army to sleep with that much tranquilizer. That's what it says, 40... You want to write to your congressman about it? Okay, okay, we'll load it. Hey, Patterson. This is developing fluid. Okay? I got a requisition for it. Sure, sure, sure. No sweat. Listen, Patterson. Could you do me a favor? Hmm? I guess so. What is it? Take a look. How about that, huh? Not bad. Not bad? Eat your heart out, kid. She's gorgeous. Okay, she's gorgeous. Listen, next time you have a couple of spare minutes in your developing room, you know, could you make me a big picture out of this? Oh, you mean an 8 by 10 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, no problem. Only, only don't lose that copy, huh? because it's the only picture she had, and I wouldn't want to break the poor kid's heart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure, I understand, yeah. Chief, right? But I'll tell you, if something did happen to the picture, I could always strike off a copy from uh, Kowalski's print. Kowalski? Yeah. He's got one just like it. See you later. Kowalski, get the lead out or you're on report. Bottom shoaling a thousand yards ahead, sir. That's Muro Reef. Bring in the dead stop. All right. All stop. Aye, aye, sir. Admiral, we're heaving to just beyond Muro Reef. Very well. I'll join you in the control room. Skipper, can I have a word with you? Yes, yeah, sir. What is it, Patterson? I'd like permission to make a dive in Muro Lagoon. Well, you know better than that, Patterson. All duty requests go through channels. That's all right, Jim. Well, what's on your mind, Patterson? Sir, I thought since this is a scientific expedition, you'd be sending out a diving party. I want to be on it. And, uh, 
If we don't send out a party of divers? I'd like permission to go anyway, sir. I'll think about it. Thank you, sir. Chip, I want a 360-degree scan of this area around sonar. If anything unusual is moving out there, I want to know about it. Aye, aye. Yeah. How close are we lying to the reef? Well, less than 100 yards. Good. Hold this position. Uh, I'll need your best underwater photographer for this dive. Who is it? Well, uh, let's see. I am, sir. All right, certainly not lacking in self-confidence, are you? No, sir. I can handle the job. This job's important to you, Patterson? Yes, sir. Vitally important. Why? A whole camera crew was wiped out on Muro Atoll, sir. I want to know how it happened. Now, come on, Patterson. There's more to it than that. Tell us the truth. Why do you really want to make that dive? Because I want to know how those men died and who was responsible. Oh, why does this mean so much to you? The cameraman on that crew didn't panic, sir. I'd be willing to swear to that. How do you know so much about the cameraman? He was my father. Chief, what are you bugging me for? I got orders. I don't care who gave you the orders. It's against regulations. What's the trouble here, Chief? Now, look, Mr. Morton. The book says that no diver goes out alone, and if Patterson goes into that lagoon, he's got to have a man with him. You're right. There should be another diver. Get one suited up. Uh, anybody in particular? No, we're not sure what's out in that lagoon. No. Better ask for a volunteer. Aye, aye, sir. All right, carry on. Okay, Kowalski, get into a suit. You just volunteered. All this is completely unnecessary, Admiral. If you'll just let me activate the device, we can attract the beast in no time. I told you, not yet. We aren't ready. The diving party's out. I've got a tranquilizing missile all primed and ready, just in case. Good. out to here. The magazine could be close, too. That's right. Let's go. At least 30 times the size. Look at it, Lee. Tranquilizers won't be any good against that. All right, recall your diving party. CB, the diving party. Do you read me? Kowalski, sir, I read you. Secure the diving operation. Get back aboard at once. Aye, aye, sir. Heard him, 
Patterson, let's go. This is the magazine. I know, but we've got to go. It's veering toward us. We've got to get out of here. Where are those divers? Kowalski, come back here, now. It's Patterson, sir. I can't get him to leave. Let's go. What? That doesn't show in our instruments. It couldn't get away that fast. Uh, no, I don't see how it could. It might be a thermal layer deflecting our sonar signal, or um, maybe a rock formation. That's possible. But how can we tell where it is? Well, we're going to have to find out fast. Uh, take over here. Chip. Go forward to the nose. Keep your eyes open. Roger. Check the chart, see if there are any uh, sea mounts in this area large enough to block off this creature. Lee. Look here. Yes, those two blips are Kowalski and Patterson. Yeah, but there's a third one that's moving toward them. It's one of those, uh, those creatures. It looks like it, only it's smaller. Not much bigger than a man. Well, that's exactly the way Wells originally described it. And there it is. You mean to say they come in two sizes? Look, all I know is there are two of them out there, that one and the, uh, the, the giant. What's the matter with us, man? Don't they know what's coming right at them? Well, obviously not. Korski, look out! <laughs> Is ready for collision. Battle stations, battle stations. noise or movement. Now get to your post and stand by. What's the situation? Can we maneuver? I don't know yet. Engineering, what's the condition of the reactors? Secure, sir. 
We'll stand by to answer bells. Miss Arun. Miss Arumai. What's your situation, Chief? Not too bad. No casualties. Skipper, what happened? I'll give you a full briefing later. Right now, I don't want any unnecessary noise or movement. Pass the word. Aye, aye, sir. Full response and all controls. Ballast tanks are okay. Air supply is normal. Oh, very well. Come on, all right, we can move. I'll take her up. No, hold it, Chip. Well, we've got a surface so we can double check the outer hull. That's right, but uh, not yet. What are we waiting for? Let's get off the bottom now. No, we're staying right here. Staying? Why? That thing's still out there somewhere. That's why. If we try to move, it should hit us again. Our only chance is to play dead until it gets discouraged and goes away. That's suicide. Well, come on. What's it doing? Moving off. I think this is our chance to get away. Are the divers back aboard? No, sir. We can't get any response from them. We can't afford to wait much longer. If it turns the taxi again, we're finished. CV to divers. Come in, Kowalski. Kowalski, do you read me? I'll give the order to blow ballast. search party. I'm oh, sorry, Chief. I'm afraid they're not coming back. I see. Okay, get your thumbs out of your mouths and police up this area. Come on, jump! Hey, wait a minute. Hold it. This is Sharky. Emergency. What is it? There's a signal on the hull. Don't blow ballast yet, sir. Chip, belay that order to blow ballast. I'll be right down. Open the hatch. Aye, aye, sir. Come on, open that hatch. <laughs> that thing that attacked us. It nearly killed us out there. Kowalski! Sir? Why didn't you answer my call? Our mics went dead, Skipper. Uh, we couldn't send or receive. You heard my first order to come back. You deliberately ignored it. It wasn't his fault, sir. It was mine. Listen, mister, do you realize you jeopardized the life of every man aboard this ship? I do now. Yes, sir, but I was after this. You went out with a camera. Where is it? I left it out there. I couldn't bring both back, and I considered this more important. It better be. Now, you go to your quarters and stay there. I'll deal with you later. Aye, sir. Mr. Morton. Aye, sir. What's the reading on sonar? No contact now. It looks clear, sir. Good. Blow all ballast tanks and get us underway. Aye, sir.
Admiral, I've just learned that we're starting back to Santa Barbara. That's right. You can't do that. We came here to capture a specimen. Are you going to forget all that? It's pretty strange talk. Coming from a man who just an hour ago was pleading to get away. You got me there. I was scared stiff. And I suppose somehow I made a fool of myself. If there's any consolation to you, we're all pretty scared. We're not prepared to deal with anything that enormous. That's why we're going back home, to, so that we can be prepared the next time we cross paths. But we can't go home without proof. Not now. Why, Mr. Wells, what's the uh, great urgency? All right, Admiral. I'll be completely frank. Ever since that attack on the island, I've been under great pressure. There's even been some talk that somehow I was responsible for the loss of the men and my camera crew. Oh, you want me to risk these men and this ship to save your career? No. You're something I'm not, a true scientist. But you've seen enough to believe me. This is some sort of new species. If you could bring back a specimen, think what it could mean. It's impossible you saw the size of it. The one that attacked us on the island was much smaller, hardly bigger than a man. We could handle one that size with your equipment. And how do you propose to do that without danger of renewed attack from the giant? Our mistake was staying in deep water. Land on the island and we can capture the smaller one. I'm positive, if you'll only try. A new species and an actual specimen to study. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Admiral. I thought you were alone. I just wanted to give you a report about this. Where'd you get that? It was fished out of the lagoon by the divers. It's the film from your expedition, isn't it? What's left of it? If it was at the bottom of the lagoon, it's worthless. Oh, I'm afraid so. Admiral, I'd uh, like to keep it if I might. Well, it's your property. Thanks. Have you given some thought to what we were discussing? Yes, yes, I, uh, I have. I went on course for Santa Barbara. That's right. Well, then come about and head for the Muro Atoll. Muro Atoll? After what we've just been through, I can't give that order. But we know about the big one now. We can avoid it. But why should we risk it? The next time we meet it, I want to be prepared. I, I, I don't blame you. Under any other circumstances, you'd be perfectly right. But this is something special, Lee. I want that specimen. How will you do it? All right, Admiral. But if our instruments pick up that thing, I'm going to turn this ship around and get out of here. Agreed. Now head for the Mura Atoll. Aye, aye, sir. Patterson, what are you doing up here in officer's country? I got to see the captain. Uh, you'll see him soon enough, believe me. Now, come on, get below before you get in more trouble. It's my neck, Chief. I'm not leaving here until I talk to Captain Crane. Oh, sir, he was, he was leaving. That's all right. What's the matter? Sir, it's about that camera magazine I fished out of the lagoon. I'd like permission to develop it. I think I may be able to save some of that film. But the film's are ruined. You can't salvage anything. Sir, I'd like to try. I've got to. Well, the Admiral gave it back to Bainbridge Wells. Wells? Why? Well, it's his property. It's my father's property. I'm going to find out how he died, and nothing is going on, to stop me from trying. Nothing. Well, on, I'm all below. right. I know what I'm doing. Come on, get below. Will you just get below? Check your weapons, Chief. Aye, aye, sir. Kowalski. Loaded and ready, sir. So is mine, sir. Are you sure these weapons are powerful enough? Well, they've been loaded with double charges. The tranquilizing pellet they fire will penetrate two-inch armor at 50 yards. I think they're powerful enough. They'd better be. Let's go through this once again. Aye, aye sir. We'll take cover in the jungle. The electronic device will be planted at the edge of the water. Chief, on my signal, you and Kowalski fire. Clear? Aye, aye, sir. Come on, let's go. All right. Oh, say, Admiral. Hmm? Hadn't we better secure the raft just in case? Chief, give me a hand. The guns, we can't reach the guns!
Well, Admiral, what do you think now? It's incredible. You are right, Wells. It is a new species. Nothing like it has ever been reported. Think of the headlines when we get back. Who knows what this will lead to? Honors from all branches of science. Fabulous offers. Perhaps even a Nobel Prize. Rewards. Is, is that all you can see in this? Doesn't the fact of the discovery itself have any meaning for you? Well, of course, of course. I... I'm deeply humble in the face of it. And I'm very grateful to you, Admiral. If you hadn't believed in me, none of this could have happened. Well, if you don't mind, I'll wait to celebrate till we get this back to the States. You don't think there's any chance of it breaking out, do you? Oh, not as long as we keep it tranquilized. How long will it stay that way? Uh, it's hard to say. We don't know very much about its metabolism. Best we can do now is keep a close watch on it. You better forget about this device of yours from now on. If it's activated, it just might stimulate him into consciousness. Well, in that case, I won't touch it until we reach Santa Barbara. Hmm. Admiral, can you come down to the control room? I'll be right there. Reading. Just a few minutes. I called you right away. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. That's the one that attacked us. What's the range? A little over a mile. It's headed in this direction and it's closing fast. It's obviously going to attack again. Wait, where are you going? To alert the missile room. We'll need every weapon we've got to hold off. Uh, there are times when it's smarter to run to the fight, and this is one of them. I suggest you alter course slightly and pour on all the speed you've got. With this lead, I doubt it can overtake us. All right. Chip, I want a new hang. Zero one five degrees relative. Zero one five degrees, aye, sir. Yeah, and bring it up to flank speed and hold it there at all costs until further orders. At all costs? Yeah, and unless you want to go another round with that thing out there. I'll keep her at flank speed till the reactors blow. Now hear this. Come to course zero one five degrees. All ahead flank. All ahead flank. Aye, sir. Just in time for the world premiere. Conceived, written, and directed by the famous Bainbridge Wells. What are you talking about? Oh, yes. I nearly forgot. Cameraman Derek Patterson. But no one looks at the film credits, do they, Mr. Wells? What do you know about Derek Patterson? Quite a lot. He was my father. I think I know how he died, and it's right here on this film for the whole world to see. My film? You took it from my cabin. I took it from the bottom of Muro Lagoon. You thought the water ruined the film, didn't you? But I'm an expert, Mr. Wells. I saved your film, and now you're going to look at it before I show it to Admiral Nelson and the rest of the world. Patterson, listen to Watch me. Watch the film, Wells. It's some of your best work. It's enough. It's enough to show the world what really happened out there. You knew that beast would charge toward the sound that device makes. To save your own miserable hide, you threw that device right at the camera crew. That's why the monster attacked them and gave you time to get away. That's how it happened, wasn't it? Wasn't it? 
All right, yes. You're not going to be a famous man when we get back, Wells. You'll be infamous. The man who let the other men die so he could live. That's what they'll be writing about you. Patterson, listen to me. I'm sorry about your father, and I, and I want to make it up to you. And I will if you just give me the chance. Listen, there's plenty of money in this for everybody. I'll see that you get some. All you need, only destroy this film. No deal, Mr. Wells. Trouble signal from the lab. The lab? Looks like a break in the specimen tank. That thing was broken loose. Lee's on the alert. Chief. Sir. You and Kowalski break out the special rifles, load them with tranquilizer, and lay down to the lab in the double. Hey, Isaac. Kowalski. Sound general quarters. Battle stations, battle stations. <laughs> father was killed. It's him, Bainbridge Wells. Well, he's paid for it. Yeah, I'll try to get you some help. Lie down. Put your head down. Control room. What's the situation, Admiral? It's broken loose, all right. It got Wells. He's dead. Anybody else? I don't know. I haven't heard. Patterson's heard. Get some men up here to get him to sick bay. Right. And Lee. Warn all crew members not to approach that sea monster without tranquilizing weapons. Right. Sharky and Kowalski are on their way to you right now with the special weapons. It sounds like he's around the bend. Are you sure these will stop him? They did once. Now listen. Go around the bend. When we see him, we let fly together. Aim for the soft part of the throat. That's our best bet. You ready? Okay.
you mean? It's there in the corridor leading to the lab. We, we might as well have been using a couple of pop guns. That's right, sir. They came right at us. Where's the Admiral? In the lab, I think. I don't know. We just couldn't reach him, sir. Chip, take the con. Keep her at flank speed. You two come with me. Chief! Admiral. I'll be all right. Where were you? I was waiting for those weapons. We tried to reach you, sir. Me and Kowalski, and we ran smack into that monster. Well, why didn't you shoot him? So we did from less than 10 yards. We hit it with at least four rounds. And? Nothing, not a thing. Like, like, like it was immune to this stuff. That's impossible. You knocked it out once. Oh, wait. It, it might not be impossible. If the body's become immune, I doubt if all the tranquilizers in the world would have an effect on it. Then how do we stop it? Chief, order the mini sub raised well clear of its lunch hatch. Aye, aye, sir. See to it that all watertight doors leading to this deck are closed and dogged, all of them. Aye, aye. Lee, keep all the personnel away from the missile room till you hear from me. This is the missile room. Go ahead, missile room. Sir, the mini subs been raised from Mr. Chalks as ordered. The deck hatch is clear. Very well. I want all personnel out of the missile room on the double, every man. But, sir, if that monster breaks in here with all this equipment we've got. You've got your orders. Now carry them out. Aye, aye, sir. Tight hatches leading to this section are closed and dogged as ordered. Good. Uh, Chief, uh, wait here with me. Well, I thought maybe I could do something to help the Admiral, sir. You can help him by staying right here. Skipper, if he's trying to make his way to the missile room, he'll never get past that creature. And I thought maybe if we could create some kind of diversion or something, sir. No, Chief. We're going to follow our orders to the letter. Now, don't worry about the Admiral reaching the missile room. He'll find a way to get there. Aye, right, sir. <laughs>
on corridor six, heading straight for the missile room. Chip. Take the con. I'm going to the missile room. Hold it, Lee. You heard what the Admiral said. All personnel will stay clear of the missile room. You think I'm going to let him be killed because of an order? <laughs> Secure the alert. Aye, aye, sir. One more thing. Down in sick bay, they want to know what to do about Patterson. What about him? He's strong enough to get up, but they don't know whether he's under arrest or what. Send him back to duty. Aye, aye, sir. But one thing still bothers me, Admiral. There are at least two more of those creatures out there, and who knows how many more. Well, it might come back for him sometime with the proper equipment. By that time... Wells, in spite of himself, will have left a real legacy to science. I don't know. A man like him, it just doesn't seem right. Well, it isn't. Oh. Let's head for home. <laughs> 